Luke is by the gang, MJ here, and today we're gonna be watching Medea's family reunion. Before we get into anything else, obviously you guys hear my voice. I've been really, really sick for like the past five days or so. So I apologize if I sound a little weird. Y'all already know how it is because y'all have been around plenty of times that I've been sick. <laughs> so again, I apologize if I don't talk too much or if I sound a little weird, we're just gonna move past it. But back to Medea's family reunion here. You guys showed a lot of love to the Medea reaction, the collab that I did with SLK, as well as a lot of the Tyler Perry movies that I've been doing. So I feel like you guys kind of deserve another Medea movie. I know a lot of you've been asking, but I've kind of been pushing it back, but I feel like you guys deserve it. So that's why I decided to watch Medea's Family Reunion today. And I will also be getting to a lot of the other Tyler Perry movies as well. But yeah, nonetheless, I am really excited to see this movie. There's not a Medea movie in this world that isn't entertaining. So I'm really, really excited to watch this one today. And I know you guys are excited to watch it with me. So if you end up enjoying my reaction, do not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Liking the video really does help me get my channel pushed across the platform and subscribing is because you want me to feel better <coughs> so subscribe also if you want to see my full reaction to this movie and every other movie and show on my channel as well as get them early go ahead and click that patreon link down in the description below full movie and show reactions are there all right that's pretty much all i have to say i'm gonna go ahead and stop talking let's go ahead and get straight into the movie <laughs> With the credits and this song, seems like there's gonna be a lot of romance in this film. Oh. Sorry, I'm really loving this song. Lynn Whitfield is in this. I didn't look at any of the staff or anything, y'all. I'm just kind of going into this really fresh. Cause I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know who's in it, nothing. I know where Georgia Tech is. I think Tyler Perry, isn't Tyler Perry from Atlanta? Don't quote me on that, I don't know. But I, I assumed because a lot of his stuff is based in Georgia. And Kiki Palmer, damn, okay. I like how the whole credits has been with roses. So beautiful. Yo, if I got woken up with roses, I would be so in love. Like, it wouldn't even be funny. But why does she look so discouraged? I feel like waking up with roses is sweet. <laughs> I'm sorry. You look so funny sitting there. Like, how long have you been sitting there? At? Like, how'd you know when she was going to wake up? <laughs> the salt bath would help with your soreness. Whoa, what's the story here? Why does she look so disgusted? This is like she don't want nothing to do with this man. This is me. I would shoot. I'd be happy as hell. Salt bath? Yeah. Music and, and, and roses. and Where's the wine? That's all I'm missing. I love you. No, you don't. Enjoy that. What's up with him? Like, what was this? What is this? Why does she hate him so much? What did he do? Let's go. Uh, where are we going? It's a surprise. I'm a I don't like surprises, nah. Especially surprises with girls, nah. I don't trust girls, sorry. I don't care what kind of surprise it is. You're gonna have to tell me. Okay, let me rephrase that before people take that out of context already. I didn't mean I didn't trust girls. I don't trust anyone who says it's a surprise. I just don't like surprises. I'm doing what I gotta do. That's a black woman's motto. We don't always do what we wanna do, but we always do what we have to do. I feel like that's just a woman's motto, but yeah. Hi. <laughs> hey. Hey. I'm my bus all the time. The number nine. Is this your gym? No, I just dropped off a painting. Well, it's good to see you again. Why are you flirting with me? This is why you got two baby daddies not paying child support. You sit here flirting with pretty boys and stuff. You are bold. You gonna ask her out right in front of us? You know we're gonna talk about you, right? I mean, that's what girls do. I'm her sister. She'll be calling you. Good. <laughs> She definitely did. She definitely wanted to reject him. But like two baby daddies not paying child support and you over here flirting with the third? Come on now. Admirer. Oh please. You are taking this number. Hey man, he was fine. I would've took that number too. And y'all want me to go on a date. Oh, cause you need to. You haven't been out in two years. Well that I thought she was gonna say like like ten years or something. She said two years? What the heck? Doesn't matter. He's an investment banker. I don't even know what an investment banker does. Hmm, he must be doing it very well. <laughs> 
I don't even think she cares. She is not happy about that. I don't know, you better get it. What did y'all do? You are under arrest. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Stop all that. No, 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 no. You have to. Why are you touching him? <laughs> That wasn't, come on, that's not her fault. Don't do that. Is this your sister? Come here, so you're family, family, family. Uh-uh. What do you think, bro? All right. Have a good time. Uh-uh, come on. You know he feeling some kind of way. Look what she got back there. She don't need this. Okay, I paid you for a full day, so we're gonna finish at my house. Come on, he gonna be mad at her, and it's not even her fault. I knew it. Oh my God, I knew it. I've been calling you all day. I left my phone here. You love making me angry, don't you? See, I think you do this on purpose. I knew there was a catch. She was looking at him too angry, like. <laughs> I feel so bad for her. That wasn't even her fault. Like, oh, poor girl. You really try to use makeup to cover that up, huh? Fantastic. Victoria. Wonderful. Well, everybody knows her. I just came from my mother of the bride dress fitting and the gown. So this is her mother. Okay. With you. You're so mopey when you should be so excited. Not mom. You just have cold feet, that's all. Uh-uh. He hits me. When? Often. Oh, her mambo got angry. Well, you must stop doing what you're doing to make him angry. <gasps> Are you kidding me? You're a crappy mother. Oh my God. You know, I would go on a freaking rampage to, to save my daughter. You got me messed up. Be a good wife. Do what the man says and you won't have any problems. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Now, why were you stealing? I was hungry. What happened to your other foster parents? They didn't even know that I was gone. Kiki Palmer. City of Atlanta versus Maple Simmons. Madea is always in this dang courtroom. <laughs> she took off her house arrest bracelet. You better have good reason for taking it off. <laughs> Look how she's looking at them. Oh, I don't this. believe that crap. I told you you don't know how to lie. What kind of lawyer don't know how to lie? Lie and lawyer go together. <laughs> La Oya. They at my house too, cause I open my house up to anybody in need. Anybody in need, they can come to my house. And oh, really? She's gonna give her that that girl. Oh, she's actually really good. She's a big disciplinarian though, but uh, they have a lot of respect for her. Really? <laughs> Stand up, Nikki. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I knew she was gonna do that. Meet Nikki Grady. You're her new foster mother. The hell I am. <laughs> <laughs> the hell I am. You know what that means? After that time, you're supposed to be bothered with no man kids. I'm sorry, I would kill that little girl. <laughs> Don't kill that little girl. I mean, is that or jail time? Or you a prison mother? I'll take the prison for 200, Alex. Lock me up here. I'd rather be in that mother. Are you kidding me? I'd rather just take the kid. Especially since Medea's good at discipline. But girl, that ain't no way to talk to no grown person. And stop popping that gum. You don't tell me what to do. Oh, don't, don't play on Medea. Better get her. She don't know who the hell she's talking to. You better ask somebody, honey. She gonna learn who she talking to. Kids are doing well. Yeah, and Deborah, how's she doing? Uh, she's doing good. 15 months clean. Okay, that was, uh, her wife, his wife is clean now. Whoop, whoop. Little girl. I'm gonna ask you one more time to stop popping that gum. <laughs> I love when Medea starts like enunciating her words. It'd be funny. That gum. I'm gonna call 911. My daughter tried that. I hit her so hard she dialed 919. <laughs> 919. You think I'm playing? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, that's her foster parent. She was trying to tell. Shut up. Look. Shut up. Trying to talk to her, she had to tell you how to do it. The seatbelt on, you better put that seatbelt on right now. <laughs> she put that seatbelt on so fast. They are proud with these children today, but all oh, I set them straight. You know, I'm from the old school and I would be. <laughs> Literally, like, I don't know who she thought she was talking to. I'll whoop the crap out of her too. Attitude having so. Mm. Welcome to your wedding, darling.
Now I thought since he proposed- What is up with your hair? We want him. Good, good. This will be the wedding to rival all weddings. That's wonderful, but like, I think her mom is one of those moms, like this is what she wanted in her life, but she never got it. So she's trying to reflect it in her daughter's life. I've seen a lot of moms like that, that are kind of just envious or jealous of their daughter, or they want to live their lives in their daughters. And it'll be good for you to see your grandkids. I don't want to see those little bastards. <gasps> Because Lisa's father had money, he was better than mine. Your father was a musician who tried to ruin my life, is what I meant. Oh, they got two different daddies. And now you will not talk about my late husband in that manner. You are so wicked. You're gonna rot in hell. Yeah. Treating one of your children that way just because, oh my God, I've experienced this too much. Treating the child of another man that way just because you didn't like that man? Disgusting. Like, you, you, you gotta look here, Lord. You don't know how to wait. You gotta work on this. This is Uncle Joe? Why he looks so skinny? <laughs> All you need to do is tap that to get in line. I'm gonna tell me, but you broke it. <laughs> you broke it. How you doing, Isaac? Good to see you, baby. Hey, how you doing, baby? What's going on, man? How you doing? Hey, Brian. Why is everyone so cheesy and what? What is wrong with Isaac? So awkward. How you doing, Daddy? Hey, Brian. Hey, uh, Tiffany. How you doing? Tiffany. Oh, well, here they all look alike to me. Who is for? <laughs> <laughs> Who's for? Now you the bought her. Every time I send you somewhere, you come back with something. Uh oh. We don't want it. Return to sender. Return to sender. Somebody sent you somewhere too, and you came back with something. You still itching? Oh. Oh hell, that's my mama too, ain't it? <laughs> that's my mama too, ain't it? Come on in the house. I'll show you where you're sleeping. Daddy, you gotta stop being so mean. He is always so grumpy and mean. All these people up in this house. I'm gonna call the fire marshal. That is against the law. It is, not, it is not against the law to have that many people in the house. He just hates kids. That's all it is. How you doing? Why don't you just give him a chance? Just give the man a chance. This is another problem too. People have been hurt so much that they kind of just give up on love per se. They don't give anything a chance. You still have my number? Yes. No. Watch the road. Poetry. Your poet? Will you just drive this bus, please, man? Hey, man, he's dedicated. He's talking to you in front of everybody. He dedicated. You should go out with me. I know this great spot. Poets. Lady, please say yes so he can shut up. <laughs> please. Like, he's putting himself in front of everybody. I got two kids at home waiting for me. Two. I bet he don't want to go out now. Right. She said two kids. Think about it. You need to shut up. I was about to say. Maybe we could make this a family thing if you say yes. He really is a nice guy. What is that? I like how they're all trying to convince each other. You call me and I'll tell you where. What do you say? Tonight. Hey, man. Again, he is putting himself in front of all these people trying to get you to say yes. So I think you should give him a chance. I mean, that's the worst that could happen. You get your heart broke again. It's like, y'all just got to go out on a whim sometimes. I'll think about it. <laughs> so I'll so think about it. Aww. Oh, I like how the scene transition with the bus. Y'all seen that? It's like, Phew. and why you don't want to go? I want to ride the bus. Why? Look, girl, you better answer me. They be bullying her on that bus, huh? Honey, folk gonna talk about you till the day you die. It ain't nothing you can do. Yep. The only thing you can do is talk back. They used to call a wild load. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> but at least, at least joking confirmed that they used to talk about her. Come on. Where you going? To the bus. Come on. I'll be right back, y'all. Sit there and eat. Them kids so, they so good. That's how you know Medea is good. She disciplined them so well. I catch any one of y'all saying something, it's gonna be me and you. You hear me? Oh. Shut up, old lady. <laughs> hey, man, what she say is gonna be me and you. Shoot, bus driver can't say nothing. <laughs> she beat the crap out of his <laughs> I love Harpo, but I kill him dead before I let him beat me. Who's Harpo? What? <laughs> Literally, who's Harpo? <laughs> I'll be waiting for you when you get off. Ain't nobody gonna mess with you. Nobody. You better not. She gonna smack you silly again. Waiting for you at three o'clock. I feel like that's something my mom would do. Like literally go on the bus and make a stand like that. I mean, don't mess with her. Like. Yeah, you gotta be careful though, okay? It's funny. Oh my god. It's so funny how these kids are just literally being kids, but it, it's playing their role so good. Your kids are beautiful. So is your son. It's funny. They are. 
So where's his mother? I was like, she's, he said it's funny, but then she cut him off. Doesn't have much time for him. Aww, a mother not having time for a kid? Really? Father? Mother and father are both dead. I was a only child. Aww. Like my job, love to paint. I'm a Christian. Mmm, Christian man. This great guy. Terrific dad, and no woman snatched you. <laughs> so what's the real problem? What's the catch? Yeah, be honest. They all look like, for some reason in this movie, they all look like they're placed in scenes. Like, it don't look real enough. I like to be the chaser. <laughs> oh, really? Chaser. I don't think there's anything wrong with, with either or. If a woman wants to chase a man or a man wants to chase a woman, that's fine. But if it's to the point like in Love and Basketball where bro was literally, literally treating her like crap and she kept chasing him, it was so obvious that that wouldn't work, but she kept forcing it onto him. Unfortunately, every other person though thinks that's cool. Yes, what? Yes, ma'am. Got any homework? I did it already. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Baby, you jiggling like Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> you jiggling like jello. Look, girl, I'm not gonna ask you no more. I'm not smart like the other kid. I can't do that stuff. I feel like Medea was the perfect person to get this child. She was a perfect person to teach this child right from wrong. The best revenge you can have on somebody that told you something like that is to prove them wrong. Yeah. To kick their butt, they have a better revenge. That too. To your teacher, she said, this is what you have to do in the morning. So go up there and get it done. Can you help me with it? Hey, or not? No, I'm just saying. Help her. She don't even know what she's looking at. <laughs> when I was in school, we had three R's. Read, write, arithmetic. I don't know nothing about that <laughs> Get you Tiffany's number. That's Brian's daughter. She'll be able to help you. Come on. Be a little older than you, but she can help you. Aww. See, I feel like Medea was a perfect person to get this child. She's literally teaching her what she can do with her life, what she has the potential to be. And this kid was already, she's already a little older, obviously, but so she knows things. She could tell what's real and what's not. And I think that's what's crazy, that Medea's kind of altering her mind. Like, no, you can be so much more. You have time. Like, that's so sweet. Oh. Mm, excuse me. Don't get, get mad at her for yawning. Are you kidding me? You want to dance, honey? Yes. Uh-huh. Sure. Mm -hmm. See, this is, you can't keep your mouth shut about things like this because. How do you insist on embarrassing me? Yeah, this is why you have to, you have to speak up about things like this because he's getting so aggressive to the point that if she yawns, he's angry. He'll probably end up killing her the longer they, you know, stay together, so. You love to provoke me, don't you? Why do you insist on doing things the hard way? You love it when I'm not myself. No, that, but when you hit her, that is who you are. That is your true self. Mm -mm. And if you think you're talking about leaving me, I love you to death, and I mean that. Quite literally, he's gonna end up killing her if she tries to leave him. I wish people could see the signs. It's so noticeable, like. <clears throat> you miss you, man. <laughs> <coughs> Joe, uh, you're so embarrassing. You get to be this age, you know. Farts come free. <laughs> you mess around, blow your eyes out trying to hold. <laughs> hey man, he's not wrong. You try to hold a fart, that should be feeling like it's gonna come out your head. I'm just saying. I ain't gonna let it go. I let it go. When it's time to let it go, you gotta let it go. Let go. <laughs> I'm finna let it go. Let it go. He's definitely not wrong though. Good job. <laughs> this man feels so awkward. Just going to dinner. I know that's all that means. When you ask a woman to go to dinner, that means you finna get something. <laughs> He's not gonna get none. You want something to drink? Uh, I'm okay, thank you. Okay, sit down. Sit down, rest yourself. Dang, she sat down the whole couch and was folded in. You know she got two kids, don't you? Yes, I do. I love her. <laughs> Are you still here, right? <laughs> you must be desperate. <laughs> Joe, shut up. Are you kidding me? I'm talking about desperate. Be careful now, she fertile. <laughs> fertile, get pregnant easy. Joe. He knows I'm fertile means. <laughs> Look beautiful, honey. You ready? I got this. <laughs> He's like, please get me out of here. All right, see you later, Rocky. Frankie, oh, whatever, Rocky, Rocka, whatever. whatever. Rocka. <laughs> you know she come back here pregnant, don't you? Oh my God, can you shut up, Joe? Dang, like, maybe they just going out to dinner. Has she told her sister that he hits her? Probably not, right? That that evening would end, so would we, because we both were a part of another family. 
damn i used to love listening to poetry i don't know i had an obsession with it i don't know why i used to write poetry and listen to it but but the catch is you only have two minutes. put your hands together for frankie and vanessa what oh we got them to do it i'm a little nervous i didn't know that he signed us up we're all family here you all show him some love please yeah come on we all family girl this is called the courage to love there you go come on to love again when you've been hurt i'm love oh i would love to go here it's so beautiful he gives me Oh my gosh, it's so soothing. Thank you. That was two minutes. Oh, so sweet. I wonder who watches his kid. And then this girl's going through all this, like, so disgusting. You're not being very quiet. This man's gonna wake up like a zombie in the night. I knew it. I knew it. I'm sorry, Lisa. I love you so much and I, and I, I, I can't. Y'all, this movie is giving me so much anxiety and stress. My heart is racing right now. I'm gonna go to counseling. Just don't leave me. No, no, no. That's gaslighting. No, don't listen to him. Manipulating, gaslighting, whatever else word there is for it. Narcissistic. Don't do it. I just said I was sorry. That's not enough. It's not. You want to leave me? Do you want to leave me? Yeah, I do, but you told me to dead do his part. That's why I was trying to sneak out. <laughs> That's the only way you're going to leave me. <laughs> Girl, you're not outrunning him. I don't even know why you tried. Austin! Austin! I feel so bad for her. She's literally staying because she's scared for her life. Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel so bad for her. Jesus. I would have just tried to leave with no clothes. <laughs> well, I don't know why she took the time to put clothes on. I would have just tried to walk out with nothing. While her sister's sitting here falling in love all over again. She's trapped in a relationship where she's gonna damn near die. Like, It's just easier not to date. Is that what you think I wanted from you? Sex? I mean, isn't that what every guy wants? All men come for something. Right. Some men come to restore. That is true too. All men, like she said, all men come for something, but it doesn't mean just sex. She gonna fall in love. Yee. Hey man, you can still be celibate until you guys get married. It's hard, but you know, it's still possible. Oh, and that girl, look at her. What are you, a high schooler? Oh, baby. Imagine they bring a, cause I think his son is the same age as them, like around the same age. You bring a third one together. You, oh, baby. I don't like how they're not updating us about the other girl though. Gonna find myself in you. She just keeps trying to leave and it's not gonna happen. Lisa, he loves kids. Just when I thought that every man was gonna be the same. You can't think that. You can't ever think that. I think you're in love. I'm in strong like. <laughs> in strong like. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Don't blame her. She has had you under her thumb since you were born. She lives her life through you. No, it's true. I can't fight him. Is he hitting you? Oh, yeah. I knew it. I, I... Oh, hell no, Medea. No. Oh no, oh no, yes, you go tell Medea. Husband is beating her and we would just like to know what we should do. Before or after his funeral. Wow. Yes, but he won't let her. <laughs> Y'all speaking hypotheticals ain't working for nothing. Medea already knows. <laughs> Medea knows everything. When you get tired of a man hitting on you, honey, ain't nothing you can do but cook breakfast for him. Yep. And when it start to boil like lava after he done got good and comfortable, you say, good morning, Tim. Throw it right on him. Yep. 
Throw it. You need your skillet with a nice, good, balanced weight on it. And then they throw this, the grits on him. Bing! You hear me? Throw it. Swat. <laughs> Venus and Serena. That's called grit ball. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. Like, when you get tired of him putting your hands on you, that's when you put your foot down. That's when you, you make a difference. If you don't want help, you're not gonna get it. If you insist on acting like such a savage. I'm a collector of beautiful things, Victoria. You beat on her, what the heck? Child back to you if you continue to put your hands on her. Your child, you almost sound like a mother. Oh, wow. And I have had access to her trust fund through you, Mr. Investment Banker. You are on the line as well. Are you kidding me? You're the worst mother ever. Entering them into pageants and acting classes because you really want to be her, don't you? Yeah. Overachievers trying to make up for what they lack. Oh. You want me, don't you? Oh, don't flatter yourself. And then flirting with your daughters. Oh my God, this is literally pissing me off. I'm a lady who's got you by the ball. Hey, I want your daughter in my house tonight. Mm-mm. Oh my god, this is horrible. This is so bad. She literally does not even care about the well-being of her daughter. She only gives a crap about herself. This is so sad. Red line represents the pain that you're trying to hide from me. This is your heart. That's what I want to be. Aww. He's really showing that he cares. Like, you're special. Hey man, ain't no harm in kissing. Ain't no harm in doing all that. Just don't go any further. Are y'all going further? Don't go further. There we go. I knew they wouldn't go further. Oh, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. And then he took the kids. I would low key panic. Like, where are my kids at? You know, like, I would low key panic for real. What are you doing with my kids? She was just scared, that's all. She was just scared. Right now, right now! Um, mommy's gonna talk to Uncle Frankie for a second, all right? I'm sorry. Like, why is she flip? I, I mean, I get why she's flipping like that. You know, it's her kid, she was just worried, but like, I don't think she should be panicking like that. I love you. Don't you know I would never, ever hurt your kids or you oh my god i'm getting emotional because like she really has been hurt before and you could tell that it's reflecting her children but don't tell me what you think tell me what you feel yeah yeah tell him what you feel you know he's not trying to do you no harm that you won't hurt them or you or me oh she was just scared that's all Whoa, Rashi running. What's going on? You are my <laughs> the far after she ran into him. You know I don't allow no running in this house. Look. She got an A, did she? And they have parents to help them. Well, that make you smarter than them because you figured it out all by yourself. True. I never knew my daddy and my mama's in jail. Damn. Yes, till you go off to college. College. Smart as you is, you better go. Yeah, college. No matter what your mama was, who your daddy was, you can be anything you want to be. I mean, look at Brian. He turned out to be a lawyer. Look at his daddy. <laughs> True. Very, very true. Man, I love the lessons that Medea gives kids for real. Cause like it's not where you where you came from, it's where you going for real. A lawyer. Oh, a lawyer. That's good, cause I might need you to get me off after I kill him. Murder one. <laughs> I'm gonna go call Tiffany. Okay, go call Tiffany. I'm gonna be a lawyer. Go ahead, baby. Oh, I'm so happy for her. Who gonna pay for it? Well, I think if you do us a favor and die, <laughs> we can use your insurance money. Why you keep wishing death on your brother? Vanessa. Ugh, are you looking at your daughter like that? She is your daughter still. Like My dad left her money. He didn't leave her a dime. He left it all for his first wife. She's broke. Don't, yeah, you know she's not lying. Don't do that. One day I was sitting at the bottom of the stairs and I heard mom and your dad arguing about me. Aww. Then she put me in the bathtub and she combed my hair. She put makeup on and perfume. Please don't say what I think you're gonna say. She let him come in and rape me. That is not true. I knew she was gonna say that. And when I snatched my little bit of happiness, I was not gonna let you take that away from me. You were my only option. Are you serious? Go and design the clothes, all of that. Now it is time for you to take care of me. Hell no. My mother was a real whore, and she traded me 
for ten dollars and a fix. Yeah, it goes down generations. About my children. About what somebody's gonna do to them every second they're out of my sight. Oh my god. That's so sad. I refuse to let you hold me back anymore. I'm gonna love hard. This is the worst mother in any history of mothers, like Forgive you, and I'm gonna pray that God has mercy on your soul. Bro, you know how much it must have took in her to forgive her mother for what she's done to her? Like, that is a lot, like... Lisa, get your things. I'll wait for you in the car. You're gonna be waiting a long time, ho. Sorry. No, 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 I'm sorry. That was so sad, man. I feel like all Tyler Perry movies kind of have a similar theme. There's always a woman in like a really bad relationship that can never get out. And Medea's kind of the outlier every time. She's the balance between sad and, and depressing and funny and stuff. It's so good to see the whole family together. I use my pistol for some uncle, that's all they understood. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm thirsty, baby, get us some lemonade out the house, please. Yes, ma'am. What you do to that girl build her like that? Ain't nothing wrong with these children. All they need is some love and support and somebody to be a little... And discipline. Get the hell in the house and hang up the phone. Put it on the hook. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that's why they listen. Gotta be patient with these babies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what we gotta do. That Victoria? Who wear heels to a family reunion? <laughs> warm out today isn't it be cool if you had on some regular clothes <laughs> very true thank you it's kind of hot isn't it <laughs> easy tits <laughs> not the marketer it's not poly so we don't wear dressy <laughs> like that you look silly <laughs> they make it fun of her so bad trying to be so bougie wee wee pee pee <laughs> Everyone. I mean, they ain't wrong. What you coming out here like that for? Everybody else wearing a regular blouse and shorts because it's hot as hell. I need a cold. I'm part. So reach down deep in the bottom. You dumb enough to fall for that. What the heck? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I can't believe you fell for that. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Me too. Uh, me too, honey. Way down in there. Y'all are some creeps. Uh, jeez have this blood pressure problem and waiting on the kidney transplant and was on dialysis jesus i might take that viagra i might go on and take <laughs> bro you got so many old people problems swish damn y'all play some good ball okay okay man y'all play some good ball you gotta let me rest, man. I'm tired. Man, don't tell me you're getting old. Uh, yeah, I ain't gonna tell you that. They definitely getting old. <laughs> you don't want to go in there now. The women in there. Oh, you do not want to go in that kitchen, man. I'm telling you. Too many women in there. He'll be here soon. And I'm sure you're all going to love him. <laughs> Nobody likes when she enters the room. Are you really ready to marry this man? I thought about it. Of course she is. Can you let her answer the question? God has blessed me that he designed himself just for me. Oh, that's so sweet. In fact, never know even a portion of what you're talking about. Yeah. I was unsure. What the heck? Who is that? Why she walk in there like that? Jesus. Uh-oh. Now you listen, if you uh if you mess with her here while Medea's here, she gonna mess you up. Grandma's what the heck are y'all doing? Used to lift her face and tell her she I guess it is hard for older people to see this stuff, seeing how much it's cha family has changed through all these years. What would you know about being happy coming in here with some bus driver? Can you not do that? Oh, are you kidding me? You are such a... Oh. oh, oh, yep, you deserve that cat fight. Mm -hmm. Girls go wild, senior edition. <laughs> I'm so tired of pulling out that ugly camera. I am my mother's daughter. What is this old lady doing? Pray on. Oh my gosh, she got some lungs. Look at how it just brings them all together. That's so beautiful. They're like zombies. 
first family reunion in five years. She's 96 years old. I'm gonna be her last. Women with no clothes on, gyrating all over on this. Oh, I was gonna say, relax, don't do all that. You're gonna break a bone with your old self. What happened to the pride and the dignity and the love and respect that we had for one another? She's spitting facts, though. She she really is spitting facts. If you need somebody to talk to, come to me. I'll give you the shoulder. I'll give you the hug. Aww. Why aren't they showing the main characters all? When you leave this reunion today, you take that with you. God bless you all. God bless you. That was sweet and all, but they didn't show none of the main characters. Like, they didn't diffuse the situation with their mom. Like, what's going on? You really came home to him? Like, why did she go back to him? Am I confused? You know dang well you don't want to be with him. Why are you here? Are you kidding me? This is still going on? Like, her mom is such a piece of crap. You two look lovely. Looking like a big old pig wrapped in a purple blanket, what you look like. Why you keep talking crap about her? You all right? Who is it? Carlo. Mm-mm. It's time to stop running, honey, and fight. Mm. Come in. Don't slam my door, boy. I already don't like you. Don't test me. You ready for my wedding? I only go to church for two reasons. Weddings and funerals. Wonder what I'm dressed for today? <laughs> bad luck for the groom to see the bride before the wedding. In your case, it might be real bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just, uh, just have a moment alone? No. No. Carlos, you look like you're hungry. Got some hot grits over there on the stove. Oh. Lisa, why don't you give Carlos some? They hot. <laughs> Gonna make him throw grits on them. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Over this city, walk around, y'all don't even see where you are. People, I look at <laughs> Yeah, hot mother grits. That's what you get. Is everything all right? It's fine, I know that scream anyway. Come on, let's go to the church. That's the hot grits scream. Oh, it's good. She in there playing grit ball. And they're playing grit ball. <laughs> there you go, hit him with the skilly, girl. Not cause that, not cause that, so. Mm. That's what you get. Mmm, I love that. Good sh girl. Good sh Yeah, uh-huh. Hit his ass again with another skillet. What are they gonna go to the church for now? <laughs> All these bougie people, hello. I like them stuck up people like this. <laughs> Did that thing just push you, Joe? Yeah, she did. She don't know us. We Baptists. We'll tear this church up. <laughs> we Baptists. You old people getting on my nerves. I'm trying to make this event as professional as possible. <laughs> Shut up. But he's late and ignorant. Wow. She don't know me at all. She, I'm a thug. I'm a real thug. <laughs> I do not care. Don't play with me. Where are your dresses, girl? What is the problem? Not quite what you expected. Mm-hmm. Tell them how it is. I'm not getting married today. Her mama gonna pass out. <laughs> no, the money. Stupid ass. I've been beaten every day since we got engaged. And I've tried to make excuses for him. Like most women would. Nothing wrong with that. It's time for me to start making my own decisions. Mm-hmm. And live for Lisa. Live for Lisa. There you go. Preach, girl. Preach. Hate that all my hard work has gone to waste. It doesn't have to. Oh, whoa, 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 what you trying to say? What you trying to say? Do you love me? I love you. Marry me. Oh. You need to marry me. Yes, girl, you worth it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Aww. Look, her mom talking about she ain't never gonna find a good man or nothing. Screw you, lady. Get a tax on him. Go move, people. <laughs> Come back. Well, at least her work ain't going to waste. Paris. In springtime. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. I would literally cry if this was my wedding. Come right in. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. This is kind of how I would envision or how I would want my wedding to be. Look at how beautiful it is. Look at the little butterflies. The flowers. The women hanging is kind of absurd, but everything else is just so gorgeous. Look at the, the Eiffel Tower. We have loved each other. 
in and out of time. Oh, now all three of the kids. <laughs> in the mask for the sweet honeycomb there. God, how I loved your hair. This poem is so sweet. Loudly scream, trying to change our nightmares into dreams. Oh my God. And you were always mine. We loved each other in and out of time. That was so beautiful. Oh my goodness, that was so beautiful. So that was Maya Angelou, okay. I think y'all were talking, talking crap because I had dissed her one time, but that was really, really beautiful. In a world of disappointment. She is so beautiful. She is so gorgeous. Just take my hand. Oh, look at her. Why just keep looking up at the angels? That's so beautiful. I would want my wedding to literally be just like this. <laughs> but since I'm a little ill prepared, maybe you should just save us on your heart. Sure. You are my friend. You are my smile. You are my everything. Aww. Of how he pursued me and loved me even when I didn't love myself. I am really feeling for her right now. Just knowing her story too, like. And that he loved me so much that he took the time to create you just for me. Oh my God, that's literally what the lady said. Can you guys just think about that for a second? Like that God might've created someone in this world just for us. That's so sweet. That's the space where only you and God dwell. After that, there is nothing to say. Kiss your bride. I'm losing it, y'all. Like, I am literally losing it. Yeah, you better clap for your daughter. Better fucking clap. I know it's so sweet, though. Like, I'm so happy everyone got a happy ending, but that was so sweet. Just the thought that God creates someone for everyone, it's just like so overwhelming. Vanessa. Aww. All this time, she just wanted her mother to love her. Oh, here they go. I always gotta do a synchronized dance every time. It'd be funny if Bro comes back with grits all over him. I don't know why I just thought about that. <laughs> oh, we got bloopers. What, the Chicanos? <laughs> yeah, it is. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> Let me get this take again. Good idea. Yeah, I'm a little old, man. I can't hold it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I can. That ain't where you're going. You're going to a poetry bar. That's true. We're going that's, to a poetry that's bar. That's not That's okay. I like how how like how easy going Tyler Perry is though. I like how easy going he is though. Like he doesn't judge the scenes and stuff. Oh man, what you just talk crap about? Him? <laughs> I don't even know where you at. <laughs> man, what kind of grit throw is that? Oh, all right, my dear. All right, my dear. But yeah, I like how, how chill he is with this, though. Do you remember him? This is my brother, Tito. <laughs> Little Janet. Oh my god, I'm so dead. Y'all still here at the movie? This is over. You can go home now. But Dia, I'm just trying to watch the bloopers. Been trying to watch this movie, and you gonna bring that crying child up in here through the whole movie. What is your problem? I <laughs> mm, and look at Junebug and them back. <laughs> Kind of bootlegger, you know they waiting on to get something. You see her over there? <laughs> oh my god. Medea breaking the fourth wall is hilarious. I love Medea breaking the fourth wall right there. Um, that movie was very, very emotional, man. That movie was very emotional. I remembered some of the people from Diary of a Mad Black Woman. That's the one we watched. I remembered um Myrtle, which was the uh, main character in Diary of a Mad Black Woman, her mother. I'm surprised we didn't see her in this, but nonetheless, it seems that Tyler Perry follows a theme in his movies where there's always a woman that, you know, gets tore down by a man and that's kind of a weird theme in my opinion but i still think that it was very emotional 
one of the girls got their happy ending and I think that was the greatest part. And obviously it was very comedic as well. Hearing what the, that one girl went through with her mother was not only relatable, but it was kind of sad how relatable it was. Like, it's just like, all a girl, like if you're a female, man, I, I can't say if a man thinks the same way, but if you're a female, all you ever really want is to feel your mother's love, to, to know that your mother is proud of the woman that you've become. And I think that's hard for a lot of females to adapt to when their mother doesn't, isn't proud of them. And doesn't approve of what they become. I know I for sure worked my hardest to be better than my mother. That was always my goal to just be better than my mother. So I think I'm doing pretty good <laughs> at 21 years old, you know, but nonetheless, like I said, I really enjoyed that movie and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. This has been MJ and don't ask about Spider-Man. Peace. Stop, stop.